New York is a suburb of the Bronx. The Bronx is a little country bounded by the Atlantic Ocean on the east and the United States on the west. On a clear day, in fact, on any day, you may hear... You, Mrs. Goldberg! Don't say it, David. In what location? Right here in the room. Oh, oh, oh. One minute. One minute. Hello, Mrs. Morris. Hello. You're home from work already? This is your early night, huh? Yes, it is. William, your mama's home. Hello, Mrs. Goldberg. Hello, Hello. Mrs. Morris. Oh, man, you look a little tired tonight. Were you able to take your feet off for a little while? Not a minute. We were pretty busy in the store today. Wait, I have something for you, dear. Oh, please don't bother me. Don't <laughs> run to bother. I don't know why they don't put a couple chairs behind the counter so the sales ladies can sit down a little bit. We wouldn't have much chance to use them if they did. Mm. William, tell Mama what a nice boy you oh, was today. Was he a good boy? <laughs> He's always a good boy. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. Goldberg. You shouldn't be doing this all the time. Uh, nothing. William, tell Mama what you did in kindergarten, darling. I will, Mrs. Goldberg. Bye. Bye, 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 dear. Bye. bye. See you. Bye. 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 Oh, uh, you finished already with the practice and concluded already. Ma, please. What's the ma, please? Music is something that mothers invented to torture their children, Rosalie. Music is something to ennoble and to enrich your life. Ma, honestly, what your night school is doing to you. Yeah, my music appreciation should do for you what it's doing for me. I wouldn't hear the same piece for six weeks. Ma, do you mind if we change the subject? Yes, I mind to the fullest extent because if the subject is camp, I don't know if you're going or not. Don't touch. Did you fill out? I'm trying to, Ma, but you won't let me. <laughs> What's the laughter? What's the hilariousness? You know very well what I mean. Did you fill out your application and to what college? I will, Ma. You will then? As soon as I know what I want to do. Yeah, you better have a better answer for your father when he asks that question. Much better. Yoo-hoo, Mrs. Goldberg! Ma, dear, shall I take the yoo Yeah, I'm coming. Rose, if you're finished already with the practicing, so will you please set the table? Ma, Roland, does Papa ever say no when he could say yes? I only hope his mother didn't live to see such a tragedy. Who? The gangster. Yes, Mrs. Kramer? Mrs. Goldberg, I'm so aggravated. You should see my ceiling, how it's coming down. You don't say. When you talk to the landlord about painting you, would you talk for me also? Don't mix. Who's mixing? You think I'm not peeling? What's peeling? Ma. My walls. Mrs. Goldberg, when are we going to call the meeting about the parents and teachers down? At my next agenda, Mrs. Schiller. Well, I hope so, Mrs. Goldberg. I have sold all the tickets Oh, already. that's wonderful. I'll bring you in some more. Good. Excuse me, I'm boiling over. Is Rosie positively going to camp? Uh, no, me, please. Mom is talking. Ma'am, the soup needs salt. Will you put or shall I put? I'll put. Come in tonight for a little canasta. Uncle David also. David, Mrs. Kramer said you should come in also. Also? To be an also, better stay home. Thank you very much. Also. Oh, David, please. Jay? Jay. Hello, Papa, darling. Hello, Hello Jay. Mm-hmm. Hello, Jay. David? How do you feel, Pa? I shouldn't feel worse. Better, I could also feel. Hiya, Pa. Send your application in yet? No, but I will. When? G. Without the G. I'm gonna wash up. Do so. Jake, did you read? What? A gangster killed a man... In a telephone booth. ...and left him standing. 
Papa, darling. Uh, Jay. Is summer ready yet, Molly? Uh, not quite. Uh, Jay, did you see the pamphlet? What pamphlet? Uh, from Gitchigumi. What's Gitchigumi? It's a girl's camp park. Uh, sure, show it to Papa, Rodley. Look, Jay, darling. Rowing and hiking and swimming and, and tennis and horsebacking. Gitchigumi. Jay, darling, we didn't go to camp. Look, Pa. Very nice. Uh, Rosa, darling, what will you be, dear? A junior or an intermediate or a senior? Intermediate, Ma. Look, Papa, darling, I wouldn't need very much, Pa. Only six midi blouses and four bloomers and socks. White socks and blue socks and pajamas, flannel ones and light ones and shoes. Walking shoes and ballet shoes and... Can I Papa, sell you in the icebox? Stop before you start, Mother. Jake, I only thought because we decided not to go to the mountains this summer to Pinkus Pines. If I could send Rosie to camp, is there anything would give me more pleasure? If you are a mother, I am also a father. Which is more important, Rosalie's camp or Sammy's college? Both I can't afford. I only hope that I can afford one. But if things get better? Then you won't even have to ask me. Don't I know? In the meantime, Molly, I didn't want to tell you because... I didn't want to worry. So who else have you got to worry if not me? Things are not so good, Molly. But Jake's family to college no matter what. But then? If I have to go back and be an operator at a machine, if I have to do no matter what I have to do, what am I working for? For who? Who do you think's in New York, Molly? Who? Your old sweetheart. Alexander Ava. See how you knew? He's still a bachelor, Molly. But he's here strictly on business. David. Hmm? You remember Alexander Abel? Alexander Abel? Like he's standing in front of me now? David. Hmm? You remember me when I was uh, 17? Do I remember? <laughs> That's the last time I saw Alexander. And he's still not married. Hmm. A man like Alexander should be married, David. Now, don't start, Molly. Who's starting? I'm only saying. I know you're Molly. So don't say and don't mix. Come, everybody, to the table. Rosalie, Samuel, come. Well, who's Alexander Abel, Mom? Person. A little more than a person. A friend. A little more than a friend. Jake, please. Uh, what am I saying? He's a little more than a person. He's a little more than a friend. He's a, a special person. Please, I'm walking off the table. May I address my remarks to David? I would appreciate it very much if everybody would eat their liver. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you call him, Molly, and invite him over? He wants to see us, so he'll call us. Us? Don't make it plural. It's not us. It's you. I think I'll call him and invite him. He's at the Baronet Hotel. Oh, Jake, please. You see, David, you started also. Also? Again, I'm an also. <laughs> Why should I wait for him to call? I'll talk to him and invite him over. Jake. Is tomorrow all right, Mom? Jake, please. The day after tomorrow? Jake, I'm exiting this minute. I'll hang if you say so. A baronet Hotel? Well, Molly, shall I hang? Well, Molly? Well, if you have him on the telephone already, so, so invite him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Alexander Abel, please. I'm sorry. When Mrs. Goldberg called me, she didn't say anything about bringing a uniform. Mr. Goldberg wants a uniform? He'll have a uniform. Jake, please, don't dilly-dally with five people and one bathroom. Cooperation, please. What is the machine doing in the front room now? Mr. Goldberg wants me to have a uniform. Uniform? Dave, we're my best sheet, David. What is this nonsensical nonsense? Oh, why nonsense, Molly? Jake wants Alex to see that he's a good provider, that you have a good life with him. That's a nonsensical. Papa, darling, is this Alexander Abel? Let me see. Come, take the machine, Alexander. It'll be here momentarily. It's him, all right. Ah, that Alexander Abel was a smart man. Twenty years ago, he put himself on a train to visit a cousin in Greeleysville, Indiana. Liked the place, saw the possibilities, and opened up a ladies ready to wear. Today, he's got one of the biggest department stores in Indiana. Where am I? Oh, lucky man. Here's some more pictures. Gee, he certainly is handsome. Hey, get a load of this car, will you? Looks like my math professor. <laughs> 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 certainly we're pretty, Ma. What? 
You still are. <laughs> we sure are putting on the dog tonight. High school language dog. Maybe that's Alexander. Look how I look. Take the dog. Oh, hello, Mrs. Van Ness. Hello, Sammy. Ma, it's Mrs. Van Ness. I sold four more tickets for parents and teachers. Wonderful. Excuse my appearance. <laughs> Mrs. Van Ness, do you want to see my mother when she was 18? Rosalie. Oh, my. And this is the gentleman who's coming tonight. I heard all about it. A bachelor. Never married. If he ever does, he'll marry you. What? It's a fixation. Mrs. Goldberg, the things I've learned since my daughter became a psychology major, you wouldn't believe. Well, Molly, are you ready? In a case like this, I would say there are definite signs uh -huh. of emotional insecurity. Wonderful. It's a wonderful subject, psychology. Yes. We'll discuss it tonight. Oh, I'm expecting guests. Good night. Night.